we'll talk about it after I have the coffee. I really am not awake yet, so let's make some coffee. We're always going, we're going, we're trying to accomplish things. It was like nothing I've ever experienced. My scalp was like tingling, but like in a tickly, beautiful way. Good morning. I'm gonna make my coffee in this cute little kitty cup because I'm a kitty lover. And it's really early. It's Saturday morning and nobody's awake in my house. It's about 7.15. I woke up about 6.30 this morning and I'm gonna get my coffee and then I'm gonna look and research this class that I signed up for that I'm taking this morning for my mental health and I will try to record some of that for you and explain it and talk about it. A little bit groggy still. We'll talk about it after I have the coffee. I really am not awake yet, so let's make some coffee. I love this silk creamer. It's non-dairy, super rich and creamy. Love it. Look how beautiful. I love the light in the morning coming through when it, look at it on the lemon balm. It just looks so, oh my gosh. I just love that and the mint, the light coming in. Nobody's awake. Look at these beautiful mosaics by Gina. So many ideas. I just, my mornings, ooh, they're just beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I'm taking this class, a Zoom class this morning, and I don't know if you've heard about something called tapping. It's supposed to help with um, a lot of different things, and since I struggle with OCD, anxiety, and I, you know, pick my skin, I'm just talking about it in case someone else has this problem. So I'm going to be taking this Zoom class this morning, and it's not just tapping it's some other things like some like some um, I think I, I don't know the names right now because I have to look it up I found it it is rejuvenate relax rebalance that's what I'm doing it's starting today and it's with my friend Kiyomi I met Kiyomi many many years ago in a chat room for fitness but Kiyomi is a very very gifted human being she's an artist she is really in tune with her body and her mind and she's doing this relax rejuvenate rebalance class with her friend Kimberly I'm excited I'm excited to to focus on my mental health and my body this morning I think I really need it here I found that I found the email about what more or less what it's about this is my friend Kiyomi isn't she just the cutest human being that's Kiyomi and they're talking about the EFT tapping points. So we're gonna be doing some tapping and I will learn all about this. I can't tell you much about it now because I don't know about it. She's also gonna be doing some sound, um, I don't even know what these are called, for relaxation. Just a little bit of what we're gonna be doing today. Now, I know this is weird because maybe some people are like, that's just kind of la la or whatever, but I, I don't, I don't believe that. I believe that if we do things with intention and if we just be quiet for a minute, because I think sometimes it's really hard to just be quiet. We're always going, we're going, we're trying to accomplish things. We're like overstimulated a lot of time by the internet. This is the room, my studio, that I'm gonna be doing the class in. It's nice and quiet. I have some time, it's only seven something in the morning, but I wanted to tell you, I'm really gonna work on healing my legs that I've been picking to death. I don't know what's going on. They're pretty bad right now. And I got online and I ordered some healing ointment and here I thought it was gonna be like this ginormous tube for $24. It's like this and I'm like, 
how is this going to be enough to put on repeatedly on my legs but we're gonna see it looks like a little goes a long way but I want to show you my legs because my goal is and I've done it before I have to just be very intentional and very mindful not to pick it's a mindless thing that I do while I'm watching TV I'll tend to do it because I'm just zoned out on TV and I just start feeling it it's a texture thing too when I feel the rough spots I just want to peel them off I hope this is okay to be talking about I know it sounds a little weird sometimes when I talk about it but it needs to be talked about because you know we can't hide things like this it's important to talk about things that are hard to talk about so I'm going to show you my legs what they look like now because my goal is I'm going to start really intentionally using these using these tools that I'm going to be learning today to be mindful to take me into myself and not into just mindless picking and I have to figure out another way, kind of replace what I do with something else. I've done it before, I really have. It's hard work and I'm ready to put the hard work in again. So I'm gonna show you my legs so you can see what I'm talking about and we're gonna be on the road to healing and I'm bringing you with me. Okay, so mostly I wear long pants and long skirts. Oh, there's, look at this, that's Stella's food. Sorry about that, but I'm in Stella's room and the studio. So this is my worst leg and I know maybe it doesn't look as bad to you as it looks to me because I'm thinking this, you know, this isn't too bad, but it really, sometimes it gets really inflamed and it, it hurts for the clothes to touch it, to just lay against it. It hurts for the blankets to touch it and I just want to heal it. I had put that ointment on uh, last night and I feel like it's less red, so maybe that ointment is good this is my worst leg I'm gonna work on this but I also have some on my on my upper legs on my hips um, even on my chest so and then this isn't as bad this isn't as bad and we're just gonna try to heal these they, they feel like a callus they get like calloused oh my goodness I think I just need to be patient I'm, I'm just waiting I'm gonna light an incense so it smells yummy in here Glad you guys are here joining us on Saturday. I think most of us are tuning in from either Canada or the States. Hi, Kiyomi. Okay, I just did a three hour workshop. I just did a, a three hour workshop. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just did a whole thing speaking without putting my microphone on i just got these microphones and i did a whole segment if you will without the microphone on so i'm going to try to do it again and try to remember everything i said that is what is crazy to try to remember all the things and putting a mic on is just one more thing for me to remember besides seeing if i'm in the frame i came out feeling like Bliss. It brought out natural endorphins, I'll say. I think it's just like, I feel really good right now. Really, really good. I wanna tell you a little bit about it. I tried to film little bits of it. It was challenging because I also wanted to be in the moment, but I also wanted to share the moments with you to give you just a little glimpse of what I was doing. So it came in three parts. The first part, Qi Gong. It was Qi Gong and it's supposed to help you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. But it's sort of like acupuncture in a way without getting acupuncture. I did record some of it so you could see. It wasn't all mindful, slow, deliberate moves. The beginning's kind of like, I remember we did something with our hands like this to just kind of get you stimulated and get your, get your body like energized. And then after that, it was sort of like slow movements there was a lot of this and just pushing out and you'll see i'll show you a little bit of it now let's twist the left and right from our waist and let's now tapping on your kidneys it's called knocking on the doors of life if you want to save 10 bucks a day you can skip starbucks and just get qigong yes and you know what this is qigong is acupuncture without needles this really feels and good Always have thumbs and fingers relaxed, space between fingers. Keep forward. Oh. To form a big rainbow over your head. 
after that was finished, I felt so good. My body, my whole body from head to toe felt so good. And I was really glad I did it. Second part had to do with tapping. And I'd heard about tapping. I've read about tapping. I've even watched videos on tapping. My own mom, a couple of years ago, reached out to me and said, have you heard of tapping? I think it would really help with your picking. You can read about it, you can watch videos on it, but really I don't think nothing really fully explains the experience unless you do the experience. So I was so glad I did this workshop because we sat there and I learned about tapping. Who's new to tapping out there? Anybody? Like raise a hand or, oh, Tracy is. If you're wondering what EFT even is, what it stands for, so it stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, or tapping for short, because we, we tap on our bodies and our and our faces. So basically, it's like the you're working with the Chinese acupuncture meridian system, the same, so the same points that acupuncturists put needles into, we're actually tapping on those same areas with your with our fingers. Eyebrow point, so right, the eyebrow, right above your nose. And then this is called the side of the eye point, so right out on the crease, so again, your like whole eye socket bone here. Good, and then the under the eye point is right here in the middle of your eye. It wasn't just tapping, there was talking involved. She talked us through this thing and she would speak and then we would repeat. And then she asked some of the participants if they had anything they were struggling with, working on, and one particular lady was having foot pain and she had just semi-retired and she loves to walk and it was causing trouble so she she talked her through it and talked about the loss and the anger and all these things and we all went through it with her with while we tapped in this particular segment I'm a very empathetic person, so when they were explaining their stories, I was already feeling for them quite deeply. We were doing the tapping, I cried, and I was shocked. I'm like, this isn't regarding me, but I'm sitting here crying, re repeating things that pertain to them and not me. And what I've noticed with my picking is if I sit with someone and they tell me a lot of their inside problems or feelings, so I'm a, I'm a really good listener, and when they tell me that, I, uh, I tend to take it all in and then I release it. I get home and I, I tend to release it by, by scratching and picking. After it was done, I picked. I sat here and I picked my legs. And that was weird and unexpected. However, I believe that if it's just me, if it's just pertaining to me, I won't have that problem. My biggest time is when I watch TV and I mindlessly just am not thinking and I just reach down and I feel them and then I stop picking at them. I'm gonna try to do this instead of picking while I'm watching TV, like as a distraction for me, just so that I, I cannot pick, I'll do this. I liked the way this felt and I also like the way this felt right here. The third part of the workshop had to do with sound baths and that was just uh, hmm, glorious would be the word, amazing, spectacular, uh, perhaps my favorite part, but I'm also someone who loves uh, the child's pose in yoga. I'm, you know, I'm pretty chill. So we got to lay down and I laid down on this bed and I had my headphones in. I didn't record that segment because I wanted to fully just be engaged. And I paid for this course and I don't want to you know, give too much of it away because if you're interested and these two beautiful teachers, I, I'm gonna link all their information below. I forgot to mention something extremely important. Kimberly, who taught the tapping, has a YouTube channel and I will also link her YouTube channel in here so you can check out her stuff. If you're interested, you can reach out to them. And I don't wanna to give too much of it away, but I wanna give you just enough to intrigue perhaps, or to, you know, say, what's that about? So the sound bath, you know, she, Kiyomi had all these bowls, you know, like large, medium, small, and so on. And I would compare it to like, say when you have like a wine glass and you put your finger around the rim and it kind of makes, you know, a sound. Well, she was doing that with the bowls and it was so beautiful. And then she had like rain sounds and some chimes and it just was so, it was like nothing I've ever experienced. My scalp was like tingling, but like in a tickly, 
beautiful way. I, I can't explain it. It just felt so good. And then my eyes were closed and it was like I could see a kaleidoscope of colors with the different sounds. Also sounds weird. <sighs> it was just really good. And so I, I walked out on cloud nine feeling the best ever. They said to just make sure drink water, enjoy the rest of your day, do something you love, maybe art, a walk out in nature. It's super hot today. I am not walking outside. It is, it is hot today here, so that won't be happening. I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share that with you this time with the mic on. Who knows? I may have said better things in the other segment I tried. It is what it is. <laughs> However, that was what I did today. And I can't wait to share more with you of other ideas that I have. This has been quite the struggle, this YouTube thing. I have to realize that I'm doing it for myself. I am actually doing what I love and doing it for myself. And when I can realize that, then I won't need so much extra validation from other people. We should just do what we love no matter what. I'm gonna keep doing it because I love it and I love editing and I just love sharing. I definitely still need a job, but I am kind of giving myself that year off as we discussed as a family, but I will need a job and then that might make it to where I can't make as many videos, but that's okay. Until next time, peace, love, and keep going. Don't give up, keep going. <laughs>